Hello, this is Mark with Custom Desktop Solutions. In this video, I'd like to walk you through the installation and setup of our newest uh, plugin we're including with our demo version of the Desktop Dispatcher Pro, and that is the FM Books Connector plugin from Productive Computing. Productive Computing has got a great plugin we've used in the past called FM Books Connector, and it allows you to push invoices, customers, and inventory items from the desktop dispatcher into your QuickBooks Pro files. We used to handle these as a one-of custom build situation where we would charge you $400 and go in and custom modify your particular uh, desktop dispatcher files to work with the plug-in, but we no longer have to do that. We've reduced the price uh, to $300 for the plug-in and we've made it much easier to uh, set up and use with your QuickBooks Pro account. And uh, we're going to demonstrate this video in two sections. One is the installation and setup, and the other will be the actual use or uh, pushing information into your QuickBooks files. So we'll get started with uh, the installation and setup. Now this demo version of the plugin is included with the Desktop Dispatcher and it's installed when you install the desktop dispatcher. And just a, a note here, we are demonstrating this on a Windows PC running Windows 7. Mac users uh, follow the same principles, just make the necessary adjustments uh, where we refer to my computer or C drives and so on. You'll be navigating to your applications file. But once you've uh, installed the desktop dispatcher demo, You'll open up the C drive. You'll click into the Program Files folder. Select the Custom Desktop Solutions folder. And then select the current demo version of the Desktop Dispatcher Pro. Inside here you'll see a file called FMBC Installation Files. You'll want to open that up. And you'll want to run each of these two installation files on the uh, Windows users. We'll want to run both of these. And after those two have been installed, you'll right click and choose copy or cut, doesn't matter which, and you're going to paste this plugin into the extensions folder, just one directory above. Paste it right there. And once you've got those two files installed, you can uh, close the dialog box there. We'll come back to the plugin and the first time you try to push a customer or push an inventory item uh, you'll be able to have access to this, this layout or this screen with the uh, FM Books Connector plugin. It'll open up automatically and what you're going to want to do is set up uh, the test, set up and test the connection to your existing QuickBooks profile. You'll browse for the file, select it, it's usually in your My Documents folder, and before you test the connection, copy it and paste a copy of that path up here. This way it'll automatically load for you the next time you start the program up. Then you'll want to go ahead and open up your uh, QuickBooks Pro account or your QuickBooks Pro company file. Okay, now we've got the company file open. We're going to want to go into the QuickBooks Pro file and edit preferences. Select the option for integrated applications. Select the company preferences and make sure that the FM Books Connector plugin is enabled. If it's grayed out or doesn't give you the option, try restarting both the Desktop Dispatcher demo and your QuickBooks Pro. And you should be able to get into the preferences and select it. And we'll say OK to that. And we'll just set that in the background for now. Okay, so now we've got the plugin installed. 
we've got it configured to work with our company profile in QuickBooks Pro. We've restarted to reinitialize the plugin. Uh, you'll want to test the connection. A zero means you successfully tested and made the connection, at which point you'll be able to go to the Pull tab and pull a list of all of your current customers. We just starting out with one customer and we don't have any open invoices but this is another feature that comes with the plugin and you can, you'll get a whole list of all of your customers with their uh, account balances and invoices. So we'll go back to the desktop dispatcher here and we'll just go ahead and start by pushing an inventory item into QuickBooks Pro and I'll just bring up our QuickBooks account real quick and show you that we currently don't have uh, we only have just the one item in QuickBooks Pro just now. So we're going to go into the desktop dispatcher. We'll create a new item on the fly here, so to speak. And we'll call it QB123. We'll call it a QuickBooks Pro test item. And you can either double tab or click into the price field to set up a price. And just like that, we've enrolled a new inventory item into our desktop dispatcher inventory file. And you can view it by clicking on the description, where you can go in and set up reorder levels, on-hand quantities, set your markup profit margins if you want. Uh, we'll leave the, all of that alone for now. And we're just going to do one more bit before we push it into QuickBooks Pro, and that is to set up one of our existing vendors in QuickBooks for this item. Um, before we can push anything, we have to have at least one vendor assigned to that item. QuickBooks won't accept it if you don't have it filled out. And that's it. We'll go ahead and push this item. It opens up the plugin, and pushes it right into your QuickBooks Pro, where you can view the, all the details you just set up in the dispatcher. And next we'll push a customer and an invoice. You can see we've just got the one customer here so far. We'll go back to the work order. We'll close out this work order. And when we do, it will take a copy out of the open work orders file, store a copy in the customer's service history, and then prompt us to build an invoice. We'll say yes. We want to build it in QuickBooks Pro. And we should get a notice here saying that this customer does not yet exist in your QuickBooks Pro file. There we are. It gives us the option to add that customer. So we'll say add now. And just like that, we've got a new customer, Mr. Fleming, in our QuickBooks Pro account. Next, now that we've got that information pushed over to the plugin. We can preview it, check it for errors, make any adjustments. Once we're satisfied with it, we can say add invoice. And just like that, we'll be notified that it's done. We'll say yes, we want to view it. And then we'll go ahead and there it is. And that's how simple it is. Now, one other feature you'll notice too, we'll go back to the uh, pull tab in this plugin. And you'll see that if we get customers again, it'll reestablish that connection and bring over that last invoice we just created, where we can click on it. It'll show up in the list. And then we can go directly back to it in QuickBooks. And that's it. Now, if you have any questions or need any help installing the plugin or setting it up, please feel free to contact us, uh, Mark with a K at CustomDesktopSolutions.com or call me at 561-714-5240.